Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Philips 175 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. This particular bulb was bought at a Habitat for Humanity race store in Longmont, Colorado for $6. So that was really cheap if you ask me. And believe it or not, I've had this bulb for three months straight, so that is quite a long time. That's like about a quarter or a year or something like that. So anyways, without further ado, let's not waste any more time and we might as well look at the etch. So there it is. The coating will definitely help focus the camera in on the etch. So look at that. So as you can see, it's made by Philips. It's a 175 watt R. This bulb will give off UV radiation if this bulb breaks. Made in China, which ain't a surprise. A lot of these bulbs are made in China these days, so that's why it's not a surprise. So there's your warning symbol of mercury near the bottom of the etch, and the bulb coat on the way bottom. So as you can see, it uses the H39 ballast, as you can see. And after 13 months, I finally got a mercury vapor ballast kit that I can run 175 watt mercury vapor bulbs on, which that's really awesome. And I finally get to make mercury vapor bulb videos on my channel. So this is the first one. And this is also a Christmas special. So anyways, you can see the DX means that it's deluxe coated. So this has phosphor coating on the inside. And this will help it make it more white compared to green. So There it is, that's the etch, and um, might as well look at the construction real quick, but I can only show you a little bit because of the, the phosphor coating on the bulb. So you can see the stem right there on the bottom. You can see the resistor right there to basically start the whole arc tube assembly itself. Speaking of which, there's the arc tube. So there it is right there. Not sure, I'm sorry that it looks weird because of the glass. There's the dimple on top. We can actually look it up. We can look at it up top, and it's actually a pretty wide dimple, as you can see. So, there you go with that. That's with the construction. So this, we have a very nice hard aluminum base with a ceramic insulator. I believe this bulb was manufactured in around the late 2010s or something like that. I do not know the exact date though, but if anybody knows, just let me know in the comments. So anyways, I'm going to give you a little bit of specifications and then I'll turn it on. So anyways, this bulb produces 7,900 lumens. So it's pretty bright, but there's only mercury in there, so that's why it's only 7,900 lumens. If this was metal halide, it would be much brighter, but this is only mercury vapor. So. This bulb has an average life of 24,000 hours. So it's basically the same length of lifetime as a high pressure sodium lamp. So that's cool. So I've got to say that's really neat. So anyways, the coating is phosphor, which is a UV mineral that gets absorbed by UV radiation. The arc tube basically gives off UV radiation and the phosphor absorbs it, making it glow. And then it makes a pink color at the start. And then it'll slowly turn to the, you know, the 4000K color temperature, cool white color. And that's what this bulb's color temperature is. It's actually 4000 Kelvin, not 5900 Kelvin. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. Before I do that, here is the new fixture. Here's the ballast. It is made by Advance. I'm going to have to flip it over. There we go. It's kind of, you know, scratched off because this actually came from a new fixture that was, you know, recently removed. And it scratched the ballast a little bit, but this ballast still works quite nicely. And um, there's the capacitor right there, made by Advance. Once again, I'm going to focus it in. There's the little specs as well. There's the socket adapter because this is a mogul medium-based um socket and then I converted it to mogul base to make this bulb work so that's all and now we're gonna give this bulb a whirl and we'll see how it starts up and um, this video is dedicated to parrot 175 so parrot 175 if you're watching this I hope you enjoy my first new mercury vapor bulb on my channel so 
hopefully he sees that and um if he doesn't that's okay so anyways we're gonna put the camera on the ballast so we can get a good view of the whole bulb itself and I have safety glasses on so I can protect my eyes from the intense light even though this bulb produces 7900 lumens it's still still bright enough to blind me even though I'll still have safety goggles on to protect my eyes so anyways let's this is actually a good view of the whole bulb itself. I'm gonna zoom it in just a, eh, I don't feel like it. But anyways, let's make sure the camera's in focus first. All right, the camera's now in focus. Now we're gonna give this bulb a whirl in three, two, one. Anyway, the bulb is at full brightness, and I absolutely loved that deluxe white pink color at the beginning of when the bulb started. And it's actually quite bright in here, too, even though this bulb produces 7,900 lumens. So it, light this, it lights up this room quite nicely in white because of the phosphor coating on the bulb. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed my first ever Mercury Vapor Bulb on my channel. And I uh, really hope you enjoyed this nice brand new Philips 175 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.